Prepare to uncover the mind-boggling tale of Delamar Vera Cueva's case, where the most unimaginable twists will leave you astounded. It all began on December 15, 1997, when a devastating fire consumed the Philadelphia home of Lusada and San Pedro Vera. While their two older children were saved, their precious 10-day-old baby girl, Delmar Cuevas Vera, met a tragic fate. Was this fire a result of a malevolent scheme, or was it simply a tragic accident? Brace yourself as we delve into the baffling mystery surrounding this captivating story. Lusada Cuevas, known as Luz, was a Hispanic woman who was born in 1971. She moved to the USA at a young age and faced challenges adapting to the new language and culture. Luz began working early in life and eventually met Pedro Vera, whom she quickly fell in love with and married. They had their first child, a boy, when Luz was in her early 20s and later had another son. However, Luz always desired a daughter, and at the age of 26, she became pregnant with a girl. The baby was due on December 5, 1997. After a smooth delivery, Luz and her newborn daughter named Delamar Cuevas Vera returned home to Feltonville in North Philadelphia. This was a joyous time for Luz, as it was her first daughter. To celebrate the arrival of Delamar in the upcoming Christmas season, Luz and her family hosted a small party at their Philadelphia home on December 15, 1997. Everything seemed normal during the evening, and Luz put baby Delamar to sleep in her crib upstairs before attending to some household tasks downstairs. Pedro's distant cousin, Carolyn Correa, was still present as her car's brakes were broken and Pedro was fixing them for her. While Luz and Carolyn were chatting, a loud noise suddenly came from the second floor, interrupting their conversation. Around 7 p.m., thick smoke filled the house, revealing a fire. Luz rescued her sons while Carolyn called for help. However, Luz's baby was still trapped upstairs. She braved the flames but had to retreat. She screamed for assistance in the street and neighbors arrived. The fire was extinguished swiftly, but the second floor suffered severe damage, including the complete destruction of Delamar's room. Despite searching, firefighters couldn't find the 10-day-old baby. Luz was devastated and couldn't believe it. The investigation found human ashes in the burnt room, indicating the tragic loss of life. The fire was an accidental result of a hazardous makeshift extension cord connected to a space heater. After the investigation, the case was closed, leaving Luz and her family in shock. But. The story of Luz and her missing daughter took a surprising turn that no one could have anticipated. Despite accepting the conclusion of the case that her daughter, Delamar, had perished in a house fire, Luz remained steadfast in her belief that her baby was still alive. The absence of concrete evidence, such as a body or remains, fueled her conviction. Her family, however, became divided over time, with her husband eventually filing for divorce due to the strain caused by Luce's unwavering belief. Luce's determination bordered on obsession, but she had her reasons. During the tragic incident, Luce had entered her baby's room, only to find an empty crib and an open bedroom window on a freezing night. These puzzling circumstances haunted her and she desperately sought answers. Despite wanting to involve the police, the costs associated with legal proceedings prevented her from doing so. Nevertheless, Luz clung to the hope of one day reuniting with her daughter. It was at a family birthday party in Philadelphia in January 2004 
that Luce's life took an unexpected turn. She spotted a young girl who bore an uncanny resemblance to her missing daughter. The girl, Alia Hernandez, was about the same age and size as Delamar would have been. Luce couldn't ignore the similarities, especially the striking resemblance between the girl and herself, as well as her son's dimple on the girl's cheek. When she learned that the child's name was Alia and that she was Carolyn's daughter, Luce's conviction grew stronger. She believed that Alia was her long lost daughter. To gather evidence, Luce resorted to a risky move. She called Aaliyah over and pretended to remove gum from her hair, secretly collecting a few strands for a DNA test. Armed with what she believed was proof, Luce went to the police station. Unfortunately, the police dismissed her claims as they already considered the case closed and believed Delamar to be deceased. They saw no reason to conduct a DNA test. However, Luce's determination caught the attention of Pennsylvania State Representative L. Hale Cruz, who believed her story and passed it along with the hair evidence to the district attorney's office. After two weeks, the DNA result confirmed Luce's suspicions. Aaliyah was indeed Delamar, alive and well. The news shook Carolyn, who had claimed to be Aaliyah's mother. An investigation was reopened, revealing Carolyn's scheme. She had used car troubles as a ruse to enter Luce and Pedro's house, stealing the newborn and setting fire to cover her tracks. Carolyn had a history of criminal activities, including a prior arson case. Charges were filed against Carolyn for kidnapping, arson, assault, concealing the whereabouts of a child, and interfering with the custody of a child. She was found guilty and sentenced to 9 to 30 years in prison. However, the trial left unanswered questions. There were speculations that Pedro, Delamar's father, may have been involved or aware of the kidnapping plan, but no concrete evidence was found to support these claims. The story raises intriguing questions about a mother's intuition and the lengths a parent will go to find their missing child. Luce's unwavering belief and determination led to the truth being uncovered, despite the odds stacked against her. It also highlights the darkness within some individuals, as Carolyn went to extreme lengths to fulfill her desire for a daughter. The case serves as a reminder of the complexity of human behavior and the resilience of a mother's love.